In this presentation, we're going to record a deposit related to a loan using bank feeds. In other words, we're going to see a deposit that goes into the system, into the checking account with the use of the bank feeds, and we're going to categorize that deposit to a loan to a liability account. Get ready because we're dropping in with Wave. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars company dashboard. We're going to start off by opening up our reports down below. We're going to go to the reports on the bottom left hand side, opening up those favorite two reports, those financial statement reports, that being balance sheet, income statement, or P&L profit and loss. We'll start off with the balance sheet, opening up that balance sheet. Once it does open up, we're going to right click on the tab up top so that we can duplicate it. Then we're going to go back to the tab to the left. We're going to do the same thing for the P&L, the profit and loss, the income statement opening up that tab and then we're going to go up top there as well right clicking on it and duplicating it back to the balance sheet tab we're going to be changing the dates hitting the drop down and we're going to be working with 2019 that's the year that we have input data for we will update that report and then i'm going to go down to the bottom and i like to turn on the show details so we can kind of drill down on it then i'm going to go to the income statement same kind of process we're going to be selecting the drop down bringing on up on back to 2008 19 and then we're going to go down and i'm going to show the detail for that report so there's the detail for that report now we're going to be considering a, a loan so in other words this is going to be money that went into the bank so it's included it's going to be included in the bank feeds we saw it increase the bank feeds we got more money but we took the money from the from the bank in other words, we owe it back. In other words, it's normally going to be on the income statement or what the what Wave did is they put it into, because it was a deposit, it makes sense, they put it into the income account because the assumption is that all deposits are going to be some kind of income, but they said, hey, it's uncategorized. We put it into this uncategorized income here. It's not going to be income, however. We're going to take it out of the income and we're going to be putting it into the balance sheet account, which is going to be a liability account. So just to check that out, if I drill down on the uncategorized income, we've got uh, a couple different items that are still in here, I believe. Once we've categorized all these out, we're basically done. Here's the two items. This uh, 65000 is that the one I want? Yeah, the, no, we're going to take out the 50000 as a load. We're going to take that out, and it's not going to be income. And it's going to decrease this income line, and we're going to put it onto the balance sheet as a liability. And so let's check that out. We're going to do that by going to the first tab. Once again, we're going to go down to the accounting and we want to go to those transactions. So we're going to take a look at those transactions. And now we're going to scroll on down to the bottom here where we have the we're looking for the $50,000 amount. So this is this is a deposit. All we see is it's a deposit. So you might be tempted then you might say, well, how would I know if it's going to be a deposit related to a customer or a loan? Well, generally, depending on your business, it's probably the dollar amount. If it's a loan, it's probably going to be a fixed dollar amount. And, you know, it might be a larger amount, possibly, uh, you know, depending on the type of company that you're in. And so you should be able to kind of be able to, to pick them out if they're going to, if you're just relying on, on a deposit, they should uh, be, be sticking out somehow. But uh, you, you do want to make sure you can find them because you do not want to include them in income. Because if you do, you're basically, you might end up paying taxes in essence. <laughs> on the loan that you took out because it got recorded in income and increased the income line. All right, so I'm going to go down here, see if we find a loan. It's going to be some kind of liability account. We don't have a liability account for it, so I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. We're going to add a new account. I'm going to make it into a liability. That's the key here. It's got to be the account type of a liability. I'm going to make it a long-term liability. This is what I kind of like to do is just group them all into long-term liability. And then I'll break out the short term portion periodically if we need to do so with adjusting journal entries. And then I'm going to say the account name is going to be, I'm going to say note payable. And I might put like the notes number on it, like the last four digits of the, of the notes number or maybe the institution. But if you have multiple like loans from one institution, it might be easier to do, the, to do a note number. And that means I'm going to set up a, a different account for every note that I have, which isn't great for financial reporting purposes because you might want like an external user might want them grouped together. But I'm using this software mainly for my internal reporting. So if I want to adjust it and make it look cleaner for external reporting purposes, then I would group them together, uh, the notes together. But uh, I think it's easier to have one account for the notes and then make each note that you have have its own distinguishing characteristic like the last four digits of the note number on it so that you can then tie out the balance on the note to what you see on the statement 
So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to say save on that. And there we have it. We've updated it. I'm going to check it off. I'm going to check off the right one this time. I've checked off the correct amount. And then if we go back on up to the balance sheet and we update this report, we should then see on the liability side, now we've got this note payable. So the note payable is now a liability. Why? Because we owe it back. Where was it before? It was on the income statement. If we go back to the income statement into that uncategorized here, once I refresh this, this 115 will go down to, I believe, 65 because there's one item remaining in it, which we'll do next time. So I'm going to refresh this and there it is. So that's the only item we have left in there. And we've got one item left in, uh, in the uncategorized, I believe, as well. Once we recategorize, once these are gone, once these have been allocated out, we have done our job. So that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.